Jun Junsachi. Yeah, come and see was intense. Intense. This is this is my experience with come and see gang. Okay. Should I tell you the story? Should I tell you the story of how I came to watch come and see? Okay. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I had a friend. Unfortunately, he uh, he was a very close friend, right? Uh, a very dear friend. He died uh, about a few years ago, five years ago, six years ago. He was a little bit older than me. He died of lung cancer. He smoked cigarettes. Don't smoke cigarettes. Smoking is not good for you, okay? But he knew his war history, especially World War II. He's the one that made, made me realize uh, what to call people on that level that destroy humanity on such a level right he, he called them monsters right so he knew his war history especially world war ii he was chinese by the way chinese origin right like canadian canadian chinese he was born in china actually hong kong i believe uh, he's a wise man wise man and he turned to me one day he says armic come and see you have to come see come and see Okay. Another one he said is Lutz Ghetto. If you want to watch a documentary on World War II, Lutz Ghetto. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. Amazing World War II documentary, Lutz Ghetto. So I had respect for him. So I watched both Lutz Ghetto and the other one he mentioned was Come and See. He said you have to watch Come and See. He said, I said, What's your favorite war movie? He goes, Documentary Lutz Ghetto uh, movie, Come and See. You must watch Come and See. It's a trip. It's a trip. It's a trip. So first time I watched it. I watched it three times by myself by the way okay first time I watched it I ate a little bit of uh, fungi mushrooms right amplify the situation right 3d it right I sat down at home and had my herbs with me and I watched it absolutely effing blew me away right just what did I just experience right what did I just experience right the next day I wanted to make sure that what I experienced was not an effect of the amplification so I watched come and see again no herbs no mushrooms just me and come and see solo absolutely effing blew me away more than the, the night before I was like, oh my God, what an experience. What an experience. It haunted me. The third day, the next day, I amplified again and I watched it again. Okay. Just to experience it again because it was so profound, so amazing. I needed to stick, right? And I've watched it multiple times since then. That's come and see. Okay. That's come and see. hello Nietzsche how are you doing Nietzsche you will love it Roger Ebert wrote that review I posted link above awesome thank you Elder God so Roger Ebert he wrote this about come and see quote it said that you can't make an effective anti anti-war film because war by its nature is exciting and the end of the film belongs to the survivors no one would ever make the mistake of saying that about Elam Kilomov's Come and See. This 1985 film from Russia is one of the most devastating films. water
one of the most devastating films ever about anything. And in it, the survivors must envy the dead the dead right and here's a little bit of um, trivia for you regarding this movie this movie initially the director elm klimov wanted to call it i believe kill hitler okay that was the name of the movie that initial name that he wanted to give the movie but it didn't it didn't fly uh, through the different people that had a say in it so they called it come and see and I personally like the name come and see better when you watch the movie you'll know why he wants to call it kill Hitler and you have to watch it to the end okay